that case, uh, I might. After all, I'd have my money back. Yes. Thank you very much, Mr. Harding. I'll see what I can do. Thanks for coming in, Mr. Matthews. Here's $75. For well, what for? I was listening. I know that you're looking for the money that Mr. Nelson took. This is part of it. I don't understand. I needed money badly a few weeks ago. I didn't know where to turn. Mr. Nelson loaned me $150. Oh, I see. I knew Mr. Nelson didn't have very much. I had no idea that he'd stolen anything. It was just that I had to have it. Thank you very much for the money. I appreciate your telling me about it. I'll bring the rest to your office in the next day or two. Try to help him, Mr. Matthews, please. It was a strange case. A stubborn, angry client. A bitter, unhappy family. A fellow employee to whom he loaned $150 of stolen money. Mr. Matthews. Mrs. Nelson, come in. What's the matter? Everything. You've got to help us. When did he leave this? I don't know. Late this afternoon, I think. Nobody in the neighborhood has seen him since. What are we going to do? Have you notified the police? Who can I turn to? My family's breaking apart. Help me. Captain Billings, please. Oh, that's right. Hello? Uh, Captain, this is Bart Matthews. I want to report a missing boy. Donald Nelson. Age 16, uh, rather small for his age. Uh, brown hair, dark eyes. Oh, that's right. He ran away from home sometime this afternoon. It was late that night before the highway patrol found Donald Nelson. He was taken into custody about 80 miles north of Los Angeles on the inland route. Hello, Mr. Matthews. Is that the boy you're looking for? Yeah, thanks. I'll take care of him now. Hello, Donald. I don't want to go back. I don't want to go home. Your mother is quite worried about you, son. Let me go, Mr. Matthews. I'll be back after a while. Where were you heading? Up north. Kind of a bad time to be leaving your folks, isn't it? I couldn't stay, Mr. Matthews. The way Mom's talking about Dad, he's a great guy. Sure. I know how you feel. And what did you do if we get to duck? Well, some kids at school made some wisecracks. They look at me as if my father was a gangster. Running away doesn't help things, Don. What were you going to do? Go to work. At what? Fruit picking, anything. I'll pay Mr. Harding back. Every penny. They'll let him go then, won't they, Mr. Matthews? Won't they? He was riding this, Mr. Matthews. Think you can get it in the trunk of your car? Yeah, I think we can manage it. Hey, that's a good-looking scooter you got there. Where did you get it? My dad. My dad got it for me. Oh, really? When? A couple of weeks ago. It was really for my birthday next month. But my dad said he couldn't wait. He wanted me to have it. Must have cost a lot of money. You bet. It's brand new. My dad wouldn't buy no second-hand job. Can I see the registration? Oh, sure, Mr. Matthews. And I got the pink slip, too. That means it's mine. My dad paid cash for it. He doesn't like to buy things on. Paid cash? Mr. Matthews, do you think he bought it with that money that... Would it help him if you give it back? I think so, Donald. In more ways than one. Gee, it was a swell scooter. But these are the facts, Mr. Nelson. You took the money on February the 14th. On the 15th, you bought the coat for Mary. On the 16th, you got a scooter for Donald. 
On the same day, you gave Mrs. Berry $150. All right, I did. Now, that accounts for about $500. What did you do with the rest of the money, Harry? I spent it. I told you I spent it. Your case comes up tomorrow morning. How can I help you? You've given me nothing to go on. But I told you I didn't want a lawyer. I don't want one now. Why don't you leave me alone? What did you do with the money? Why did you take those presents away from the kids? They deserved them. They've never had good things before. You can't buy good things with stolen money. Now, what did you do with the rest of it? If I plead you guilty, you get one to ten years. Don't you realize what this would do to your family? How do you suppose they feel about you going to jail? Happy, proud? My family wouldn't care if I rotted in jail. But they do, Mr. Nelson. They want you home. I know my family. I've lived with them long enough to know them. I've worked and slaved half my life supporting them. Do you want to know what happened that night before I took the money? Go ahead, Harry. I'd like to hear it. I got home late that night. Mr. Harding asked me to check something in the books. Why, Amy never even waited for me for dinner. There were a couple of things I had to do down at the office. See, I got my report card. Yeah. Say, that's pretty good. Two ways. That's fine work, Donald. Yeah, but I think I got chipped in math. How are you doing in designing school? I'm doing all right. We owe tuition again. Oh. Okay. I'll find it someplace. Well, this is a fine time to be getting home. I had to work overtime. Overtime? That's the second time this week. You shouldn't, not unless Mr. Harding pays you more money. Please, I'd like to enjoy my dinner. I'll see you later. Sure, son. <clears throat> Say, they were really fine marks he got. Harry, Mary hasn't heard from Jack in almost a week. Mm, that's too bad. They have a little quarrel or something? No, we, we didn't quarrel. He just hasn't called, not once. What's the matter with her? Did I say something wrong? Harry, you're blind, positively blind. I don't know what you're talking about. They were getting along fine. Mary even thought he was going to propose until she brought him over here that night. Harry, we've just got to move out of this place. Look at it, broken down. It's too old to make anything decent out of it. The neighborhood was bad enough when we moved here, and now it's impossible. Amy. I would like to live in a better place, too. But we can't afford it. Ask Mr. Harding for a raise. I can't. I'm just a bookkeeper. And he's paying me the same as he would any other bookkeeper. You're not any other bookkeeper. You've been with him since he started. Our children deserve a better home. Please listen to Mom. Dad, I'm ashamed to bring anybody here. Mom and I saw the cutest little house, three bedrooms, everything we could possibly want. It's beautiful, Harry, and we could furnish it reasonably on time. It's a wonderful neighborhood, and Mary would be so proud to... Amy, houses and furniture cost money we haven't got. You haven't eaten your dinner. I'm not hungry. Where are you going? I'm going to take a walk. Harry, you're always going to take a walk. Now, let's discuss this. Let's come to a decision now. Please, Harry. Amy, I don't want to talk about it. We can't pay our bills as it is. How can we afford a house? Other people own their own houses. Why can't we? That's not the way to talk to your father. Now you go to bed and we'll discuss it in the morning. Amy, there's nothing to discuss. We can't do it and that's all. But we can. I've got it all figured out. <laughs> 